Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Mail Merge tool in Microsoft Word. The Mail Merge tool is a great tool to use when you have a long list of recipients that you want to send a letter, email, or make labels for. There's a lot of different use cases for Mail Merge, but what it's known for is allowing you to send a large communication to a large amount of people. So first you'll actually begin in Microsoft Excel, where you'll determine your fields that you want to have in your Mail Merge. So for instance, I'm going to send thank you letters out to a bunch of clients that attended a conference last week. I want to send them a mailed letter, and so I'm going to write the name of the company, the address, and the appropriate information I need to send the letter. Now you see I've designated these in the columns here, and you want to make sure that there's no spacing in between the words as you plug this into Microsoft Word. So once you've done that, you can then go to Microsoft Word, and you can begin typing your letter. I want to make sure that I have the company name up in this first line here in my letters. Now to begin the mail merge process, I'm going to click the mailings tab that's already selected here, and then I can select start mail merge. However, there's also a step-by-step -step wizard from the drop-down menu available that makes it a lot easier as you go through it. So when we select this, a menu will appear on the right-hand side where it will step you through all the steps you take in a mail merge. So let's begin. The first one's asked, select recipients. I want to use an existing list. I'm going to use that Excel spreadsheet that you saw earlier in this video. I'm going to pull it up and browse to find it. Yep, that's the one. And here this menu appears, it pulls on all the information I have in my Excel spreadsheet here. As you can see, it has company name, address, city, state, just like you saw on the spreadsheet before. I want to include all those. You can, if you decide not to send to someone, you can just uncheck it there. And then when you're ready, just hit OK. From there, you'll hit Next, Write Your Letter. Well, you can see I've already written my letter. Um, and now I need to designate the areas where I want to add my mail merge items. So I'm actually going to bring this down a little bit. And I have the option to add an address block. It's an official thank you letter, so I want to make sure that I have the address at the top of the letter. When I click this, it shows me what it's going to look like, and I can actually preview through them all here. Some of them don't look perfect. I can go in and edit those, the ones that I need to make small adjustments to. But for the most part, they look correct. We'll hit OK. And they'll put this placeholder here that will eventually be filled in when I complete the mail merge. Now I also want to include the company name here. So I'm going to hit More Items. And it'll pull from my database field from an Excel spreadsheet all the fields that I have in the spreadsheet. Since I want company name, I'll hit insert there and it plugs it in there for me. Next, let's go to preview your letters. So now I'm able to preview everything that I've already plugged in. I've got the company name up here, I've got the company name here in the top of the letter, and I can actually go through all of them and preview them. If I want to go back and edit this spacing, I can easily do that right now. When I'm ready to complete the merge, I'll click Step 506, Complete the Merge. Now since I'm sending out mailed letters, I will need to print them, so Mail Merge knows that that's my next step. It says Mail Merge is ready to produce your letters. If I need to go back and edit, I have that option here, or I can go and just click Print. Hope you found this tip helpful, and thanks for joining us.